Hi everyone, welcome to ACADS. So this is another lecture on how you can make your UPSC preparation a little more scientific. So here we are going to discuss about UPSC hierarchy of marks. This is mainly relevant for the GS part. So if you look at recent trend, you will notice one thing in case of optional, the marks are more or less varying around 270 plus minus 20. Whereas if you look at the GSC, the GS, the marks have varied from around uh, 380 to more than 500 in certain cases. So you can see that in GS alone, like if you leave on the SC paper, you can score, you can gain an edge of around 100 to 120 marks if you are doing things correctly. So without wasting any more time, we'll be make, making this a very quick and short video. So let's start. So in case of UPSC hierarchy, the one thing you need to understand, number one priority, like leave everything aside, number one priority, you need to that you three hours in 20 minutes. Kar pa rahe. So, People usually feel ki like this is very basic and most of the people will be able to do it. But if we go by our experience, around 70 to 80% of the people are not able to complete their question paper in a satisfactorily manner in 3 hours. So, number one priority is, you have 20 questions in 3 hours. Mein. There is no second doubt about it. The second is, once you are able to do 20 questions, the sub -part, uh, 20 questions in 3 hours, the next thing is, you should be able to attempt all the subparts in these 20 questions. So, wo sub -parts ka jo quantity rahegi, here we have tried, quant tried, we have tried quantifying our approach. Okay, what you cannot measure, you cannot improve. So, going by the same maxim or the same philosophy, we have tried quantifying our approach. So number one is the 20, 20 is 20 questions in 3 hours. The second thing is 70 subparts. So how we have come up at this 70 figure. So in an average GS paper, if you leave aside the GS4, there are 20 questions. Okay, so we are assuming there are there is, no, there is not going to be any change of pattern this year as well. So in 20 questions, 10 are 10 markers and 10 are 15 markers. So in 10 markers, two subparts are going to be direct. And if you include all your sub intro or the way forward that you use as a conclusion, it becomes three subparts. Similarly, in case of the 15 markers, there are going to be four subparts. So total is three into 10, 30 plus four into 10, 40, that is 70 subparts. So her paper may have 70 subparts and you have to attempt it. If you have to attempt it, then you will have to do it. Plus, on average, we have seen that around 70 to 80 percent, like similar to that of the completion of paper in three hours usi approach per similarly you will see ki around on an average sub kit 10 se 12 sub parts miss hote in each paper the second thing that you need to focus is on identifying all the 70 sub parts this is this should be your number two priority now we will come to the third third level is you should be able to generate sub points for all these 70 sub parts so agar aap on an average assume kar rahe ki you have to generate five parts five sub points then it's 350 points agar aap four generate kar rahe then also 280 300 types aapka ho jata hai but i'll suggest to you i'll strongly recommend you to write at least five points in each sub part okay then we will come to the next level next level is substantiation substantiation mein so I will try to explain it through one example. So if I look at the 15 marker, this is going to be generic structure, right? Of subheading 1, subheading 2, subheading 3 plus conclusion, sub intro and all these. Yeah, it's just four sub parts. So here, what you can do in two of the sub points here, two of the sub points, you can use the generic points. But at least in two say three sub points of each sub part, you need to substantiate it. So substantiate me kya jata hai? That we will discuss on the next slide. So ye aapke general levels ho gaye hain. In the next sub slide, we will be discussing how you can accomplish it. Level one agar aap fulfill karte hain, that is ki agar aap 20 questions kar pa rahe hain in three hours, that means you can score 380 to 400. In order to reach, uh, reach level two, you need to identify all sub parts. Identification is the important thing. Identify and then attempt it. Because if you are not doing this, then it's a very sure shot way of you losing marks in the paper. If you are missing all parts, ko miss kar rahe. then comes the point generation. Point generation, mein, you can reach up to 430, 450. So one thing I forgot, how you can generate 
points so here there are generally three ways number one is using the generic templates so if you look at your make mac course there is a course of templates and or templates there we have given generic suggestions conclusions around 50 60 points and that you can leverage across all gs papers number two thing is module specific template so if you look at governance we have given the concept of tp career if you look at gs3 it's about double b triple c time per or if you look at uh, agriculture there is a diagram about maya at indoor so these are the mnemonics actually in your course there is an explanation of all these mnemonics and terms so you can use all these points to generate uh, module specific points for each subpart the third way is writing specific points related to that question only so suppose there is a question about cbi generic is about how you can you how you are using the challenges and suggestions for a template there we have talked about institutions multiple overlapping bodies with conflict and mandate and all that uh module wise is key we have given how you can generate points in case of the uh, bodies and bodies and organizations and then there is a specific point specific point if you are writing about the dpsp 1946 or the santhanam committee or the comment of supreme court on cbi that it is a caged parrot so that's how you can generate points so now coming to the main part like how you need to tackle each level so sabse pehle 20 questions per paper sabse important cheez hai there is no there should not be any doubt about it agar aapka nahi ho raha hai the first thing you should be doing is please practicing please practice writing paper in 3 hours that's the most important thing agar aap at least 4 to 5 papers likhkar nahi ja rahe hain paper mein then aapke seedhe seedhe 30 se 40 marks disappear ho rahe hain please wo galti mat kariyega at least write 4 to 5 papers before entering the examination hall then all the sub parts we have explained it in detail in the lego method lego method aapka ek course hoga please go through the lego method ko uh, course very, very carefully we have given details about 10 marker 15 marker how you need to generate points introduction how you can use introduction quotes and everything so please watch the lego method jisse aap ye 70 sub points generate kar sake each paper mein and then point generation last slide mein bhi explain kar diya hai like generic templates ho sakte hain module specific templates ho sakte hain classification wala ho sakta hai like tp career in gs2 double b triple c wala ya in case of data gspd so all these mnemonics you need to remember so that ki jaise hi questions aa raha you should be able to generate it ya fir ir mein abc dfg hi isi tarike ke aapko ye char bar diye gaye hain l tak so you can generate easily 30 40 points usko thoda specific and customize kar dena to suit the demand of the question now come the important part ki jisse aapko last ke 30 40 edge milegi and this is the difficult part and yahi wo time hai in last 20 to 25 days you need to focus on these things 3d forcing diagram aap jo bhi diye gaye hain courses mein please practice kariye data memorize kariye har topics related enough data diya gaya hai एंड सेकेंडली जो भी आपका करंट अफेयर्स कोर्स है उसमें और डेटा आपको दिया जाएगा जो भी निमोनिक्स है उसको रिवाइज करिए सो दैट यू कैन जनरेट पॉइंट्स क्विकली यू कैन सेव योर टाइम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर्टिकल रटिए कमिटीज रटिए कमीशन रटिए सो दीज आर द पॉइंट थ्रू विच यू कैन जनरेट एक्स्ट्रा थर्टी फोर्टी मार्क्स इन द एंड विच कैन टेक योर मार्क्स अप टू फोर एट्टी फोर नाइनटी और इवन फाइव हंड्रेड टू बी फ्रेंक विथ यू इफ यू हैव टू स्कोर अब फाइव हंड्रेड देर नीड टू बी एन एलिमेंट ऑफ लक बट बियॉन्ड दैट लाइक फोर सिक्सटी फोर सेवेंटी इज अचीवेबल थ्रू योर हार्ड वर्क एंड स्मार्ट वर्क सो थ्री डी फोर सी वाला अप्रोच रखिए करंट अफेयर्स जो भी आपको है की वर्ड्स बेस्ड अप्रोच रहेगा लाइक इन आर कोर्स जो भी आपको टॉपिक दिया गया वी आर गोइंग टू गिव यू जस्ट सेवन टू एट की वर्ड जिसके थ्रू यू कैन सब्सटेंशिएट सो दिस इज द जनरिक बट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सजेशन फॉर योर मेन्स एग्जाम लर्न हाउ टू कंप्लीट योर पेपर इन थ्री आवर्स एड्रेस ऑल सब पार्ट्स पॉइंट जनरेशन अराउंड 300 हंड्रेड टू थ्री फिफ्टी आपके पेपर में होने ही चाहिए उसके लिए आप ये अप्रोच यूज कर सकते हैं एंड अल्टीमेटली सब्सटेंसिएशन सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दिस थिंग इन अ लिटिल मोर डिटेल इन द नेक्स्ट लाइफ सो सपोज इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फिफ्टीन मार्कर दिस इज आई हैव टेकन दिस लाइफ फ्रॉम द लीगो मैथर्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपके यहाँ पर इंट्रो जो डेफिनेशन डेटा रिसेंट इवेंट उसके थ्रू आ सकता है एक डायग्राम आपका यहाँ पर आ जाएगा और ये आपको 11 मिनट्स में करना है सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ओके सो आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट 15 मार्कर सो सो सबसे पहले यू शुड बी एबल टू कंप्लीट इट इन 11 मिनट्स देन ओनली आपका लेवल वन होगा लेवल टू इज यू आर एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई थ्री डायरेक्ट सब पार्ट्स 
जो कि 15 मार्क करके रहते हैं प्लस उसके बाद कंक्लूजन या वे फॉरवर्ड जो भी आप लिखते हैं यहाँ पर या सब इंट्रो में जो भी डायग्राम बना रहे हैं दिस इज द फोर्थ सब पॉइंट नेक्स्ट लेवल इज पॉइंट जनरेशन पॉइंट जनरेशन के लिए ये वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव या फोर या फाइव ऑन एवरेज आप फोर या फाइव लिख सकते हैं बेस्ड ऑन योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग इसमें पॉइंट जनरेशन में भी जो लास्ट वाले दो हैं द लास्ट टू यू कैन राइट अ लिटिल जेनरिक वंस लाइक फंड्स फंक्शन फंक्शन रेज हो गया बट एट लीस्ट टू पॉइंट्स एट लीस्ट टू पॉइंट्स इन ईच सब पार्ट शुड बी स्पेसिफिक विथ एग्जाम्पल्स अगर आप उसको जितना ज़्यादा करेंगे आपके मार्क्स उतने ज़्यादा इंक्रीज होंगे सो सपोज इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सी बी आई इफ यू टेक द लास्ट एग्जाम्पल ओनली इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ओवरलैपिंग ऑफ फंक्शन विथ एनी अदर बॉडी दैन मैंशन इट की हाउ दे इज अ सी बी सी एंड सी बी सी की जो फंक्शन है वो करप्शन ब्रांच ऑफ सी बी आई से ओवरलैप कर रहा है सो दिस इज एग्जाम्पल दिस इज सबसेंसिएशन सो ऑन एन एफ इज ट्राई टू देर आर वन ट्वेंटी सो ऑन एन एवरेज फाइव टू सिक्स एटलीस्ट सब्सटेंसिएशन होने चाहिए जो भी आपको केस याद आ रहा है आप केस को लिखिए इसमें कोई भी एक्ट है कोई भी आर्टिकल है एस टी जीज हैं सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन एक्ट सब्सटेंसिएशन इन द एंड तो वो आपका अराउंड सिक्स टू सेवन आपके होने चाहिए वेरी स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट्स टू एड्रेस द डिमांड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट हर आर की ऑफ यू पी एस सी मार्क्स Again, the priority is you should be able to complete your paper in three hours. Number one priority, second is seventy sub parts. Number third is three fifty points, and ultimately there should be one twenty substantiation points. If you can follow this, I am sure you will be scoring around four sixty to four eighty, definitely in the GS paper. Thank you.